Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas. Um, I am up late tonight doing some tests with the A7R 3 I just received a package in the mail from Maxotics. Maxotics from Max Rottersman. Rottersman, sorry Max. I've talked to him on the forums quite a bit on EOS HD. Um, and I found him through searching vlog setups for Sony cameras. He invented this little mirror thing that he's been toying with with different models. DSLR Video Shooter did a um, video about this setup. I was really interested. I just got my A7R 3 and I'm doing vlogs, I'm doing YouTube content, and I don't want to use a monitor. It's a pain in the butt having to charge your battery and plug it in and flip it and then you got to mirror the image and then when you want to flip it back around the other way you got to unmirror it it's a pain in the butt even with the small hd focus monitor which is my favorite monitor it's still a pain and you don't want to deal with it especially when you're trying to be running gun and so i want to show you what i've been working on here this is the a7r3 i don't own any sony glass yet so this is just my 28 millimeter um zeiss manual focus but um, this is the setup here. We've got this little mirror box, which works perfectly. And then I've taken my uh, Rode Video Micro and I've completely gaff taped it to the side here of the camera. Obviously, if I put it on the hot shoe, it would be completely blocked. This dead cat that comes with the micro is too big. Um, I can't mount it here and still see the mirror. Um, so I'm going to need to find some foam windscreen to go on here. I'll probably be able to find one on Amazon. But I have already been so impressed with this. The Sony a7R 3 now can do uh, sunny daylight mode uh, for the monitor. So the monitor can get super bright even when you're shooting 4K. Which is really helpful when you're using a mirror like this because you're losing a lot of light to do this. Um, so let's turn it on so you can kind of see... What I see here, with the iPhone expose for it. Now it's a little blurry. Uh, it's really just because of my iPhone filming right now. Um, it doesn't look that bad. Let me try to. So you can see, I'm getting audio levels, which is something you can't even get when you're shooting 4K um, on the Sony. I can get a confirmation that I'm recording. And it's mirrored, which is perfect uh, when I'm filming, obviously. I want it to be mirrored so that my brain doesn't get confused when I'm pointing to things or looking at things. And again, excuse the uh, fact that I'm on my iPhone here. So you're not going to fully get, like it, it doesn't look that blurry to my eyes, um, I promise. Um, I'm going to be doing some more tests with this. I'm going to make this a little bit more solid. But I can tell you right now that it is seriously impressive. And it's making me think, like, here's the problem with this. It's a little wobbly, as you can see. So I want to reinforce it um, with some gaff tape, get this thing really locked down. Also, I'm concerned about this, the, the weight that is going on here. It's super lightweight, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm, it's kind of a, making me worried that over time it'll loosen this thing and it'll ruin. Also, as you can see, this is sort of getting in the way here. So I need to cut a, uh, a little hole right here. So there's a little bit more room there for this to go all the way. But what I found with my tests is I can, you know, do selfie mode like this. And then if I need to turn it around and film something, I just drop that and then I can see directly into the screen. So there's no cables, no monitors. I just go from mirrored selfie mode to filming other people and filming what you know my surroundings and stuff. Very fast. I can even still use my touch, but it's really got me thinking. The ultimate solution here is for somebody to make a mount that goes into the quarter 20 on the bottom of the camera just a piece of metal that comes out here with two arms that come up, a mirror on the top that is movable, 
So, and then this would be totally empty. So you could quickly just look, this wouldn't be here because it would be metal, nice and sturdy, strong arms here. Um, you would be able to freely move this up and down and all over the place. Maybe even the, the arms could be replaceable or you could take that off really quick so that you could go into a quick, uh, you know, EVF mode. Uh, so you could just pop, pop the arm off and then go straight into the EVF and then you just pop that back in. And then if you had a hot shoe right here, you could use your uh, microphone there. And so I really think the Sony cameras are the best vlog cameras available right now because they are literally the only ones, that, especially this one in particular, the A7R Mark III, currently, as of December 2017, is the only camera that does really good phase detect autofocus full frame 4k and the rolling shutter on this camera is bananas especially in super 35 mode it is rivaling like fs7 uh, c300 mark ii type rolling shutter like when you go into super 35 mode on this camera it is unbelievably good the how it handles it so having a camera that you're hold hand holding with actually good rolling shutter performance that's ideal. Also something that's so small and lightweight, but such an amazing hybrid photo and video shooter makes this really one of the best vlog cameras available. The only problem is right now, you don't have a flip out screen. If, <laughs> if it just had a freaking flip out screen, you can mount your mic on top of the hot shoe like everything else and everything would be solved. If Sony did that one thing, I really think that they would blow up. I can't believe how many people are posting videos about trying to figure out a way to do what I'm showing you here on YouTube. So um, anyways, I'm gonna be, I wanna make like a more in-depth video about how I did this and um, maybe my thoughts after reviewing it and trying it out for a while. This is just a really rough, uncut, obviously, video. I just want to get this out there, upload it so you guys can see it. Um, ask me anything that you want about this. I'm going to be doing some tests. Um, so I'm going to keep testing out the vlog here. And like I said, my next step is to kind of reinforce this mirror. It's a little floppy. Um, but if you're interested in getting this mirror, um, go to Maxotics website. I'll put a link in the description. Um, Max is not producing a ton of them right now. I don't think he's selling them anymore necessarily. Max, you'll have to correct me on this, but um, reach out to him and he can help you out. I would love to maybe talk to him about making a more like realistic uh, production quality, sturdy thing that I was just mentioning there about a nice metal solution. I don't know how to get that going. I think maybe like a Kickstarter or something would be really cool. Uh, if somebody wants to take that on and do it, please do because these cameras are really the best cameras out there um, for what they for what they are and what they do. And I think that they are going to continue to be the A7S 3 will be coming out in 2018 and more than likely it'll have the same body style as the A7R 3 and the A7R 3 and the A7S 3 are going to be on the market for the next two years. So we're not going to really see more than likely again. I'm just speculating, but due to Sony's track record, that's probably what they'll do. So again, for the next two years, we're going to be stuck with these amazing cameras for vloggers that don't have a flip out screen. So at least for the next two years, Sony isn't going to be adding a flip screen, uh, a flip around screen. So I think this is really the best solution because it doesn't require any batteries, any um, cabling or anything. It just needs to be engineered correctly. So hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully somebody will steal the idea that I just had about creating a really nice sturdy system. So let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any ideas or questions, see you soon.